everybody. Welcome back to Best Life and Beyond. We're back at Disneyland. Oh yeah, it's a nice afternoon. We decided just to come down, take a little, uh, little afternoon stroll. We're not really, uh, we didn't want to come for the full day. We just decided, we'll just go for a few hours and see what we can drum up. And uh, it looks like we already drummed up this Parade Dreams Churro, as they call it, from Town Square. It's right in front of Mr. Lincoln when you walk in the right side tunnel and uh, we're gonna see what this thing's all about. Yeah, it is a very colorful, it's got sparkly, sort of like colored, gel, you know, food gel on there. It's almost like a take on a nerd's rope, but a churro. It's okay. one churro broken in half, all right. with nerds on it, and, and sparkly goo, if you will. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna try this churro. We're gonna try to get on the train. Yeah. Um, and then we're gonna have dinner somewhere. It's kind of odd that we're going backwards with dessert first, then uh, you hey. know having dinner. But that's kind of how this video is, though. We the, the churro cart's right there in Town Square. It was the first thing we saw. If you want to get that churro, um, and so that's why we're doing it that way. We're not really we didn't come with a solid plan, and I think that's gonna be the fun of this. Is like. Are we gonna stay here for a couple hours? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe we'll just do one thing and leave. I don't know, it's it's kind of uh, at our leisure. Like we used to when we had APs and you were able to just come in for a meal and a ride and, and take off. And uh, you know, regardless of, of how the situation is now with reservations and magic keys and all that stuff, we thought, why let it stop us on how we like to enjoy this park? Uh, we're gonna do it anyway. So that's our plan. We're sticking to it and we're gonna try this trail. All right, Spencer is gonna try it first. Oh boy, it's gonna be messy, I we know. We don't have napkins, so don't touch it. Okay. I have nails, you don't. Okay, so it, uh, it it tastes like a regular churro to me, just a little sweeter because of the nerds and the, the, the green uh, turtle gel, I'm calling it. I don't know what it is. I don't know. But, um, it's, it, you know, there's a, a dominant cinnamon flavor, which I'm happy about. It just has like a sweetness along with it. Does that make sense? I can't decide if I like it or not. It's like a sweet cinnamon churro, if that, that's how I'm... But it's also tart, too. It is, that's what I mean, yeah, there's a, there's a tartness to it. But you still get the cinnamon, uh, classic sugar cinnamon churro vibe. It's just, you know, amped up. It's uh, lit up, if I, if I can say that, if I... Well, remember the sour cherry churro, how revolting that was for me? This tastes nothing like that to me. Yeah, it's nothing like that. No, because cinnamon, like I said, is still dominant, you know what I mean? I'm not tasting any cinnamon, that's oh. weird. I don't taste, I taste sweetness. Mm. But then I taste sweet and tart. So it kind of works. I would say without the nerds is a little bit more tolerable. The nerds kind of throw it for me. Okay. But all in all, the tart is not that tart, like that cherry flavor that no, they had. It's no. not that. It's definitely... It's a... It's, t it's way more tolerable for me yeah. than that sour cherry churro. Like that one was... I don't mind it. See, it's the nerds that is the one thing that I could do without. But it's not bad. Like... I see visually why they did the nerds because it totally looks like the of light course. bulbs. Of course. And yeah. it adds that pop of color, so they're beautiful. Yeah. But taste wise, <laughs> I would actually if somebody you know, you know, somebody else wanted to have this with me for the first time, I would get it. Cause honestly, the green goo is not so bad. It's it's got a good flavor to it. It's lemony, it's sparkly. And the band is making its way down Main Street for flag retreat, and I think we're gonna jump on the train. All right, here's the map. We got two trains on the track. It looks like uh, one's about to arrive. Looks like he's in the tunnel right now. So this train that's coming is called the Holiday Red. Uh, it's known as red because of the predominant red color of the awnings. Uh, but it used to be the Frontierland freight train, which was on a separate track. It made a grand circle tour back in the day. It was also known at one point as the Retlaw 2. Retlaw is Walter backwards, Walter Elias Disney. It was a company that he created when he sold Disneyland to the Disney company, and he wanted to retain some of the assets like the train and his apartment, so he formed a company called Retlaw, which eventually was also sold. But that's a little bit of the history of this train. It's an opening day attraction train. This thing was here on the opening day, so it's very historic, it's so cool, and we're gonna get to ride it. We're embarking on a grand circle tour of the Magic Kingdom. We'll be stopping at New Orleans Square, Mickey's Toontown, and Tomorrowland. We'll also visit the Grand Canyon, 
and make a trip back in time to the primeval world. Yeah. As we begin our journey, remember that for a safe trip, goodbye, Main Street. Seated, keeping your there hands, we go. arms, feet, and legs inside the train. Wow, you can really see through the Jungle Cruise. That's kind of wild. Gracias. The foliage is very thin. Our first stop is New Orleans Square Station. But to get there, we need to pass through the wilds of Adventureland. It may seem peaceful through here, but trust me, it's a real jungle out there. Literally. So be on the lookout. You just never know what might be lurking along the rails. Just ahead is New Orleans Square Station. This station is there he is. Serves Frontierland. Time now for the Puma. Galaxy's Edge. Once again, please remain seated because the trains come to a complete stop. And welcome to the bayou. We've got some duck passengers wanting to board the train. This is odd. Let's see. You guys want to go to Toontown? It's closed. <laughs> I thought for sure they were getting on the train. I thought so too. They were like, excuse us, they we're tried. just gonna... They I tried, think, right? I think if the cast member wasn't there... Hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the train. Oh, he's crossed the, train the tracks now. Alright, he's gonna go wait in the old Frontierland station building over there. He's waiting for the next one. He feels it's a little too crowded. I feel you. It's okay. switch out and go sit in the old caboose because I've never sat in here. I mean, look at this. How cool is this? Isn't that amazing? It's got little windows. So uh, I figure, let's jump in there. Try it out. Oh, this is so crazy. That is pretty cool. Wow. And then back here, when you look through, looks like a cast member area. Oh, there's like, there's some seats, Katie some jump seats because there's the high ceiling back here that they probably used to use back in the day. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, door's locked, so. But yeah, there's like little ladders to get to these cool seats, like these panorama seats. Oh, that's amazing. Old school lighting fixture. This is rad. How cool is this? Yeah, this is really cool. I really like that it's green. Yeah. I think it's a, it's a really nice, like, open. Yeah. I don't know. It's a really nice thing. This is so cool. Yeah. What a treat. Yeah, because I've been seeing this on the tracks and I've, you know, been curious about jumping in on this. And so it's it's kind of neat how it's available because there's no Lily Bell yet. But there's. Not that I'm aware of. No, there's not. She said it hasn't been on the tracks in oh, a while. Okay. But at least to have the caboose is kind of a trip. And we've got windows, thank goodness. Because somebody said, no, it's hot in there. I'm like, oh, we got windows. Yeah, so. it's not bad if you have a window. It's totally cool. Look at that. Looking through the old window. Welcome aboard the Disneyland Railroad. We're embarking on a Grand Circle tour of the Magic Kingdom. We'll be stopping at New Orleans Square, Mickey's Toontown, and Tomorrowland. We'll also visit the Grand Canyon. Enter the train and go to a full and complete stop. Please don't wait anyone. Alright, let's go in here. Gonna check out New Orleans Square. How was that? That was so cool. Loved it. That was cuckoo cool, cool caboose, yeah? Gonna go check out the pathways that have been revealed. I'm just curious to see how it looks. It took out all those steps in New Orleans Square, you know? Okay, so already this is very bizarre. 
because this used to be the tight path here and then that raised section was right in here wow so weird and clearly they have more work to do but that is wild and that the thing though that i'm a little weirded out about is the texture they didn't really texture it they just kind of made it like regular cement this is where the the step up was oh wow yeah so they flatten it out so yeah it's weird to not have that level here and then it, obviously they're going to continue that through here because they've still got this blocked off and then they moved uh these murals these photo ops are still in place so yeah it's just so weird <laughs> especially while the walls are still up this strange corridor because you can't go down and that's all going to be flat it's just hard to imagine Holy mackerel. Look at this. Whoa. Wow. So you can tell that part over there is just still wet. Oh, um, so the wedge is going to be gone. No, it's not. They're going to leave the wedge in there, but they resurfaced all this here. This is crazy. And then you can see how that's all flattened out. You can almost see it around the corner. So wait, what, what's this big gap? Like, what was that? Wasn't that just flat land? Yeah, but I think they just took the time to resurface it while they could. Oh. Because they're applying that texture to it, that non-slip texture. You can see that, how they... Like in the parking garage. Yeah. So it might be a, an insurance thing that they want the surface like that. So when it, when it rains, maybe people don't slip or something. I don't know. That is so weird. I can't, like... Other than when the island was completely closed down, like, yeah. it just feels weird. Yeah. I don't know. Well, like, and it's being like, able to see in, like, they're allowing you to see in, into this, because there's really nothing. There's nothing to see, but no. there is something to see. It's just, I don't know. I'm curious what it's all going to look like when it's done and yeah. how much it'll alleviate. It's kind of, what was the original plan of, like... Well, I think there was a planter along here, if I'm not mistaken. Oh. So they widened this out. Maybe. Yeah, I feel like there was a little bit of a planter here. Do you see where the bricks change right there below us? Yeah. So Katie was just pointing out that on this day, five years ago, is when Johnny Depp came out there to promote the new Pirates movie, and he was out there. Well, he was in the attraction. Well, he was in the attraction, but then he came out here to say hi to everybody. And you got a picture of him. Yeah, at one point he even stood up on the railing up there like Yeah. Crazy Johnny would. I remember standing out here and I was like The word was out. I was at work, I remember. Yeah. And the word was out that he was inside the attraction when you came around the corner. Yeah, he was in there. Into where the mayor is being dunked. He yep. was right there interacting he fit with right people. In. He was wearing his outfit and everything. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, it was pretty cool. And I mean, the dead giveaway would have been all these GoPros rigged to the boat, but maybe people didn't notice, I don't know. I didn't. <laughs> and then looking at the uh, the old Swiss family treehouse, I'll never stop saying that, uh, AKA Tarzan's treehouse. We heard that this whole section right here, this, uh, this portion was added. This wasn't original Swiss family. This was added for the Tarzan portion, I believe in the 90s, but apparently this whole chunk is gonna be removed. Um, and then, a theming change possibly to Encanto. Is that is that what you heard, Katie? That's what I heard. Yeah. Which will make a lot of kids really happy, I it guess. It will. Because I don't think uh, the younger generation really has any kind of attachment to Tarzan. I mean, they know it, but they don't have the attachment like Encanto. Encanto like took these kids by, well, and adults, but it, it really, was a very successful film. There's a very good chance that it's probably going to be happening. So, yeah. um, you know, we'll see. The part I'm sad about is losing the hidden Jabba that was under there in that, that part of the tree if we're going to lose that whole section. What, Jabba the Stump? Jabba the Stump, yeah, we're going to lose him. It's like once you saw that, you could never unsee it. And so I don't know if it was intentional, but it sure looked a lot like Jabba. All right, we made it back to Main Street and there's already people lining up three hours prior to MSEP. It's still the buzz around the kingdom 
The bench spots are already secured. Those are some of the great ones. Yeah, those are good spots. You can get a bench, man. All right, we're gonna jump into uh, Refreshment Corner, AKA Coke Corner, home of the half bulb, because I wanna see if they have the electric light parade sipper, the light bulb sipper. There it is. I think somebody created an image online that said Refreshment Corner, and it was As a half, half bulb. bulb, yeah. I mean, I, I think, I don't know, but I would assume Well, if they sold it anywhere real. and the half bulb was real, it would be here, but. It's definitely smaller than I thought, but yeah. it's really cool. Like, it's a cute idea, especially for Main Street Electrical Parade. You know, it's good for a little kid, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Main Street Electrical Parade light bulb sipper, 1629. It includes a fountain beverage at the time of purchase. That is cool. And then they brought back the Firefly chips, which are um, Fritos, basically, with chili, cheddar. Yeah, like a Frito pie. And jalapenos. And then the electric relish dog, which is displayed right here. Oh boy, there it is. That looks very interesting. And spicy. Yeah, I don't think it's anything I would eat, but it's definitely cool looking. It looks very, like, themed. Yeah. I can see why people would like that. Yeah. So, did that just make you hungry by seeing that? Yeah, now I definitely <laughs> want to get dinner. I think we might actually, we're thinking about taking off to go get dinner, because it's pretty packed for... It's um, very packed, yeah. Uh, spring break. Yeah. Is that what it is? It's Let's spring try to figure break. out what the, what the reasoning pretty is. Pretty much all of April is like spring break. It's Tuesday, and so I thought, oh, it shouldn't be too bad. It is. It is genuinely packed. Spring break April. Yeah, yeah. So, I don't know where we're gonna go. It's Taco Tuesday, that's one thing. Let's go find a, like a, there was a place we were looking at this morning. Yeah. It's somewhere in, I think, Costa Mesa or Newport. So pretty close to where we live. I think we should go and check it out, maybe. Yeah, we're gonna jump out of the kingdom. I think uh, it was fun, though. We This is what, kind of what we wanted to do. We just wanted to kind of jump in for a little while, check out that churro. Take a little train ride, and we got to jump in that, that caboose. Yeah, that was so cool. Ever since I saw that, like a week ago, I was like, I want to ride in there. I'd never been in there. Uh, it's not the Lily Bell, but it's different. Uh, you've never ridden in there, right? Not that I remember. Yeah, that was cool. Up here in Town Square, you can see uh, these Primo benches. Great spots for the parade. Already taken at two hours out, so just be aware. Um, if you want to get a bench spot, you might have to wait two and a half, three hours for a bench spot, but uh, definitely two hours even for a, like a prime kind of sidewalk spot. If you want spot. to be on Main Street, I'd say at minimum you need about two hours. Right. So just be aware. This is just a Tuesday, but it is opening week Yeah. and spring break, so there's a little bit of all that. So I mean, but at least be on the safe side and think about like, okay, about two hours, have somebody from your party. Yeah. Looks like some people brought towels and did Blankets. stuff like that. Yeah. So it's a smart move. Just, you know, be aware if that's what you're trying to do or come to the later show. Looked like there was a lot more spaces around, uh, I think it's a 10.30 or 10.20, 10.15 show. Yeah. First one starts back at Small World. The second parade will start up here in Town Square. Right, so they can so reset plan, it. Plan yeah. plan accordingly. Um, now, uh, I think we're gonna head out and go get some dinner, so let's go. We made it and we are on our way to Taco Tuesday. I'm starving as we already said uh, But now, you know after that long run out of Disneyland and <laughs> I'm like really hungry and uh, we're going to somewhere in Costa Mesa uh, Desconso, I think it's called. I think that's what it was called. Yeah, and so I think it's you know how Taco Tuesday is there's deals So we're down for that. It's about 15 minutes from the park without traffic. You would just get on the 5 freeway and um, it looks like we're gonna take the 55. So if you're curious where it's at, we'll make sure that we link the restaurant that we're going to in the description box so that you can find it. But uh, yeah, I'm hungry. Okay, we have arrived at Descanso, a modern taqueria. It says, join us for 
Taquero Tuesday and Wine Wednesday. Oh, Wine Wednesday. Oh, look at that display right there. Natural display. So for Tuesday, it's $2 gourmet street tacos cooked at your table, $6 margaritas and $4 beers from 5 p.m. till close. All right, we're headed in. Oh wow, look at this setup. So yeah, there it is, street tacos. You got chicken, steak, shrimp, and carnitas. There's street quesadillas. And then the drink specials, obviously. This is great. I love being able to sit front row on the grill. It reminds me of, uh, you know, like a Benihana type vibe, but uh, the tacos. Santiago on the grill. There he is, the master. So he'll go around the table and take everyone's order, and then we'll watch, uh, watch him work his magic right in front of us. I'm excited. I've never seen so, anything so cool. Here's the prices, by the way. You can do chicken for $2, steak for 3 shrimp for 2 50 You can also do quesadillas, which yeah. we might try a quesadilla. Yeah, we should split one, yeah. And then drink uh, specials as well. You can also order from the standard menu, but it's just the Takero uh, thing is, is a lower price. Yeah. I am too. I'm so excited. Looks like I already smell these onions that are in a pile in front of me right now, so I'm like... There they are. Oh yeah. Okay, I think he's cooking up the quesadilla now because he's throwing. Oh my gosh, he's throwing cheese right over the meat. Oh wow. Watch the technique. Wow. Oh, on the outside. Yes. I don't know why I only got one. What was I thinking? Can we get more? It's dangerous to get like one. Yeah. 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 Oh, wow. <laughs> Alright, so we got an order of grilled sweet corn, which comes from uh, the other kitchen. We just wanted to try it. Our... Well, he says they grill it here every morning. Right, and then they put it together back uh, in the other kitchen. But uh, we wanted to try it because we thought, you know, come on. One in Rome. Now, yeah. I hear it's a little spicy, so I'm going to just take a tiny little nibble and see what it's like. Oh man. Even though that's a little got a little kick to it. The flavor, right? It's out of control. Like I can smell it. It smells amazing. I gotta try it. Cool. It's like ridiculous. Even though it's hot, I still like it. I'm like suffering for it. That is amazing. Oh my gosh. We should have got two orders of that. It's so fresh. Whoa. Looks like Katie's plate's coming. I think so. Get ready. I don't have the quesadilla, okay? Wow, thank you. I don't think I'm going to share with him anymore. I'm pretty sure. I was. Now, I think it's over for him. <laughs> Look at this. Look at that quesadilla, yeah? Oh my goodness! Servano or no? Oh, no thank you. <laughs> thank you, Santiago. Wow, look at that! Wow! That's beautiful! Happy Taco Tuesday. Boom. Oh. 
It's even better than I thought. What you said. I knew this would be good. I did. Just the smelling it, it's kind of like you get to eat with your senses. But they even said everything here is fresh. Everything is made to order. There's no pre-mix. Even the margaritas, they're made from the ground up. The tacos, made from the ground up. You saw it happen right here. Um, the corn, every day, roasted on these grills and then mixed up in the back. And you can tell. Super fresh. And that's the way it should be. I mean, this is... This is the way to do Taco Tuesday, you guys. Primo. This will be what everything is judged upon now. Why did I not get everything as a quesadilla? I didn't realize. The cheese is off, off the chart. Oh my gosh. So like a tequila cart just showed up. Look at this. What is going on? Yeah! It doesn't mean you're gonna buy a tequila shot. That's right. That's right. I have officially rung the tequila bell. Now I have to have a shot. That'll be your dessert. It's Santiago's fault, uh, but I trust him. <laughs> the meal was amazing, so I trust him, and I trust his judgment. That's your dessert. That's my dessert uh, tequila shot, yeah. yeah. All right, I'm gonna try this tequila that has the bell on top. It has been recommended. Right, Steve? Yeah, absolutely. All right. We're gonna do a nice, generous two ounce. There we go. There it is. Wow. It's all happening. Look at that generous. That is at least two ounces right there. So I'm going to try a little, little taste first, like sip it, because I've got two ounces. No need to slam this yeah, thing. Yeah, no, you just want to enjoy it. Enjoy it. Check the flavor. I'm told it has kind of a sweet note to it. Uh, sweet finish, right? Sweet finish, as Steve said, yeah. Uh, so let's give it. Oh, yeah. What's that called, Steve? Plaza Azul. Plaza Azul. <laughs> yeah. Okay, dude, you were right. That nice little sweet finish. Yeah, absolutely. Oh my gosh, so super smooth. And then like a little sweet finish to it. Like he said, like, it's like candy. All right, Kitty has uh, procured some dessert here. It's something de lemon, and I know it's a Mickey constructed. Looks amazing. I mean, yeah. Silky, smooth, tart, light. Whoa! Wow. Some serious flame going on over there. Woo! All right, we're making our way out. We will definitely be back. That was so good. Come on. That was, that was like, it's hard to walk. Um, we, yeah. got, we even took some to go because we, We did, like, you got that, right? Yeah, I have it. Okay. It's in my bag. I was like, don't forget that. There's a lot of times we forget our to-go stuff. But that was so good. We will be back. Thank you to Steve. Thank you, Santiago. Yeah, uh, the whole staff here so um, at Descanso. We'll be so here good. Every Tuesday. Yeah. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this whole video, uh, a little Disney day, a little Descanso, Descanso Disney, Disney Descanso. Taco Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. Uh, please give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you next time on Best Life and Beyond. Oh, flames in the background. There they go. Bye-bye, <laughs> everybody.